Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my video. Key hal chal. I hope you're good. In this, we're gonna see a problem. Apply operations to an array. And yeah, yeah. Uh, just one thing that LLD course started from today. Now, in this, you are simply saying that you are gonna zero index array nums of size n consisting of non-negative integers. As you can see, nums size n, and there is no negative integer. And I need to apply n minus one operations to this array where in any of the ith operation. Again, ith is a zeroth indexed. I will have to apply the following on the ith element. What is that? If the ith element and the next element are same, then ith element is multiplied by two, and only then i plus one -th element is set to zero. Otherwise, I can skip the ith element and go to the next element. After performing all the operations, I can shift all the zeros to the end of the array. Which means that obviously he is saying that I will check this first operation, second, third, fourth, fifth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I had six element. I technically applied n minus one, which is five operations. On each operation, my primary task was okay. Just check the ith and i plus one -th element if they are same, right? Obviously, I will just let's say get this array one, two, two, one, one, zero. I will check if they are same. They are not. If okay, no worries. Move on. Are they same? Yes, they are same. If they are same, increase or maybe do the double of ith element, and this becomes zero. Okay, then compare these two. Are they same? Are they same? No, they are not. Okay, continue. Are they same? Yes. Double it and make it zero. Okay. Are they same? Yes. Okay. Double it. Make it zero. Oh, which means for zero, it will not impact that much, you know. So for zero, we can skip as well. Now, which is ultimately we have got this array, but they are saying that make sure after performing all the operations, I have performed all the operations. That's done. Just make sure that shift all the zeros to the end of the array, which means that all the non-zero values I have to shift on the left, on the left, and all the zeros on the right. So this is non-zeros. And this is zeros on the right side. So what I can do, or what we can do? Obviously, there is one very naive way is that uh, you you know you can take another array. I can take another vector. I can simply iterate on this vector. I can take another vector altogether, and I can keep on pushing. Okay, one non-zero element push it. Four non-zero element push it. Then okay, no worries, don't push it. Two non-zero element push it. Then uh, okay, none, 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 nothing else. So that is simply what we have reached. Now, obviously, you know that you have to shift it, which means the remaining elements sh should still come up. So what we will do? Okay, I will just I just put what are the remaining elements? I knew the array element size was six. So far, my vector had become only of size three. So I will push up remaining zero elements, and that's how I was able to achieve my final array. And ultimately, I will return my final array. This array as the answer. Now, the catch or the question here is that. What is the time and space for it? Obviously, O of n operation here, you know, making them double or putting them zero, and then another O of again. This is this will take time of O of n and space also of O of sorry. This will take this this step will take space of O of one, while this operation will again take a time of O of n. So time will be O of n. Space for this operation will be O of n because I am taking a new vector altogether. Right? Okay. And because of this, ultimately, this entire step is taking time of O of n and space of O of n, and I can simply solve it. Now, now they are saying that uh, obviously I have to return the resulting array, and it feels like the same that if I don't want to modify the input array, then I should technically make a copy of that array and then work on that copy itself, right? But at the same time. I made this thing, right? I made this thing, which means I modified the input array as well. So technically, just to get rid of this, I will have to make one copy of the input array, then modify it, and then make another copy of that array itself, and then you know, like on I should say not the copy, but then make another vector itself altogether from from, from the very scratch, and then start putting up the elements, and then the remaining elements are zero. So with that fact. You are making one copy here and one copy and like one new vector here. Why one copy here? Because it is not a good practice to modify the input array. 
But even if I discard that fact, that okay, let's say if even modify the input array, still I'm making a new array itself. Can we leverage existing array or can we somehow get or achieve without making a new vector, which ultimately I'm trying to go towards is that can we get rid of the space? Because time will still be O of n, I am still iterating on it, but can we get rid of this space as in not using a new vector? Not. Okay, how we'll do it? Let's take this same thing. So I realized that this input array of mine had become 1, 4, 0, 2, 0, 0. Now my only task is that getting all the non-zero values to the left. How I can do that? I can simply take any index i, right? And then I know I will simply iterate on my entire array and whatever is a non-zero value, I can simply place it here. So what I will do, okay, let's proceed forward. So I'll simply iterate on the entire array and this ith index is let's say my right index, right index. So I'll just simply write at this location. So, okay, let's see how we'll do it. So firstly, at the very first, again, I'm imagine that you are iterating on the entire array. So for num in nums. You are simply iterating on the entire array nums. And then you will just have a quick check. If your num is not equals to zero, then simply at your nums of right index, right index, just simply place your num. And obviously as you have placed it, go on to the next index, which is right index plus plus, plus plus. So how, how it will go? Firstly, you will go on to one. Okay. You just placed one at your right index. And then your right index increased next now you go on to four okay you placed four and then your right index increased okay now you you go on to zero obviously your right index will still remain as is and you will not increase then you'll go on to two your right index now will actually be having two value and then you will increase your right index then you go on to zero nothing happened zero nothing happened okay obviously you will stop here which means after i stopped here because I was overriding the existing array, existing array will still be having this values, right? Now, my task is to override from this remaining right index up till the very end, override everything to zero. So I will just write one more condition or one more for loop. I will say simple that while my right index is less than my, you know, uh, size, which is num.size or, you know, simple size, then I can say my nums of right index and simply assign it to zero and then write index increase by plus 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 and that's how i can simply put it as zero 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 no matter whatever is there thus what 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 happened here i changed the input array itself here then change the input array itself here and then may override the input array itself here thus i was not required to make any new vector at all now what is the time and space for this? Obviously the time will be O of n and space will be O of 1 because of not using any extra space. But again, there's a catch here. It is not a good practice to modify the existing input array. Thus you might think Aryan, okay, I will make a copy of the input array and then we'll go about it. Obviously you can go about it. In that case, you have a space of O of n, but still it is better than the previous vector approach because in the previous vector approach, the space would have been 2n. But here the space would have been only n, although not much, uh, you know, important. But still. again, I am telling you all this, which can be a bit confusing for the new folks is because it is important to consider what is the good practice in the industry. It is not a good practice to change the input array nums. It is always good to make a copy of it. But in the previous approach, approach one, we are making two copies, you know, one copy again, a new vector altogether. But here we are doing kind of in place operations to override things. You can also see as a two pointer approach. Now let's see the code. Again, we'll see the most optimal code as well. Uh, only uh, again, if you want to see the actual brute force code, you can find it on the website uh, on the article section. But the first says that simply make sure that just go do n minus one operations and compare if nums of i is equal to nums of i minus one. And again, this is optional condition because even if it is there or not, it, it doesn't matter as such. So what you will do, you will just increase the nums of i by two and nums of i plus one become, will become zero. Okay. Then as my actual uh, values, you know, if you remember my actual values were one, okay, one, four, zero, two. So with this fact, it will become one, four, zero, two, zero, zero. 
So after this operation, the nums will become something like this. Now my task is just to get all the non-zero to the left side. So I'll get all the non-zero to the left side, right? Okay. Then I will make sure that whatever I have got the left side, but still there's chance that right side is still like, you know, tidy. So I'll just make them make it clean. So I'll just say one, four, two, and then the remaining zero, zero, zero. And that's how I can do the last step. Ultimately, time here is O of n. Although space technically is O of 1 because I'm ex modifying the existing input array nums, but still I should not do it and I should make a new copy of nums. I'm not saying a new vector nums, you know, I'm not saying a new vector for the answer. No, I'm just saying a new copy of nums. With that, your space will be O of n, but it is still better than making a vector nums because in a vector nums, you will have to make another copy which will be 2n rather than n. So yeah, uh, this is one thing. Again, you will find it as O of 1 itself, but I'm just telling it's good practice to tell, to, like to, to mention to the interviewer that uh, we, it's not a good practice in the industry to actually modify the input array. Thus, I have taken or I have mentioned the spaces O of n, rather the spaces right now O of 1 based on if we are okay with modifying the existing input array. Cool. I hope you guys got it. And yeah, the LLD goes starting soon today. Bye-bye.